Hi, today we're going to talk about the uh, 1980s Toyota engines that use the airflow meter, which is a flap style um, intake measurement device. Uh, I have some problems with this engine where it would stall sometimes when I'm at, uh, at a full stop. So I trace the problem to the this socket over here, which is the same as the 7MGE and the 22RE. But just the wiring is exactly the same as 7MGE, but the 22RE, the wiring is a little different, even though it's the same socket. Uh, this is connected to the circuit opening relay. All right. There's, there are six pins in here, even though there's seven slots, but the slot number three is not used. So the, the first two pins is FC and E1, as you can see in this uh, relay, circuit opening relay. So FC and E1, what happens is there's a little flap door inside that when you turn on the engine, uh, it sucks air in and the, there's a little spring inside which uh, contacts each other and uh, it turns on the circuit opening relay to supply power to the fuel pump. So I trace the problem to this connector and this wire which is a bit too tightly strung. There's not enough slack at all. So I'm planning to lengthen the wires a bit by soldering a wire in between of the six cables. As you can see, the AFM is bolted at three places. One, two, and three. So this is fairly rigid. The problem is this engine is a rear-wheel drive engine. So it's mounted to engine mounts and it, it has tendency to twist when you accelerate. So when you accelerate, this wire has a tendency to be pulled on and you can see there's not much slack, it's just not enough. And I'm very sure that this hasn't been tampered with. So today I will lengthen these wires a bit. Okay, first thing you want to do is remove this connector from the AFM and pull this uh, rubber grommet here. And you have to take a photo of this wire sequence and this color. To make sure that you put it back correctly. Alright. Then my plan is to cut these wires and solder new extension cable. So basically I have to solder at 12 different points. One, two for each wire. You just you have six cables over here. I've decided to uh, cut one by one and label them with these stickers. So I'll, just to make sure that I don't get it wrong. So I'm going to start now. Okay, as you can see, I did it for the first wire. So do it one by one to avoid confusion. And this is the first wire. Cut and label each. Okay, I got the connector cut off and all the wires labeled. And this is how the inside of the AFM looks like. There's the flap door. And this is the pin. So the first two pins are FC and E1. And you can see over here this is FC and E1 so if I push the flap door you can see it makes contact it completes the ground so the fuel pump will turn on okay the first wire is done with a solid solder and don't forget to heat shrink every single wire and repeat the process six times for each wire. All right, it's finally done after a few hours and uh, triple checking the wires. So now there's a lot of slack. It's, it's not stressed anymore. So off for a test drive.